1912 to spring into an end his 44-year period as Vicar of Byerley and of service to its school. Oh, yes, many memories. Remember the area shelters? I remember there were one across here. Yeah, I was the just going to say there yeah. was a wall of boys playing around the side. The toilets were there. Yeah. Yeah. Area shelter there. Area shelter. Area shelter. shelter there. And the boys' toilets were there at yeah. the end. That's right, yeah. Well, uh, the side of the wall there. You used to, if you if you dared, you used to jump off that wall there yeah. and have to climb back up it's again. Quite a big drop, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, oh, gosh. Oh, dear, like. But it all seemed a lot bigger in those days, didn't it? A group of former pupils and staff have been given a rare opportunity to take a last look around their first seat of learning before it finally closes its doors as a school. As soon as the reminiscing starts, fond and sometimes long forgotten memories come flooding back. This field here, before they built that house, well, there was a farm there, called him Gill, Mr. Gill. And uh, he used to let us, and all this was a big stretch of uh, field here. And we used to have the school sports day here, taking spoon races and the three-legged races, all down here. Remember that? Yes. Ball field, and there's a cricket field across where, uh, the little cricket field at the right back the way of the over to, uh, You used to see it all the way lane. over into yeah. Ruler yeah. Lane. Yeah, and right. nothing in the way. Oh, nothing in the way. Yeah. In fact, it trailed right down to the uh, woods. So I used yes, to go down there. Yes, yeah, there was If you're brave, ventured out of the woods at dinner time if you're brave. Springtime in Bailey will forever be synonymous with May Day celebrations at Bailey Church School. And if it's May Day, a May Queen has to be chosen, along with her attendants. three separate rooms with sliding doors and they were opened up and he stood in a long room with a milk bottle with a 
paper towel wrapped around it, and everybody had a cowrie shell, one or two, I don't know how many. It was over two or three. And used to, it was three. Was it three? <laughs> right, okay. And people just used to go along and put a cowrie shell in who they wanted to vote for, basically. Yeah. So, and then they counted up at the end, and I don't know how we both managed it, but... Yeah. And they queen the two attendants then, yeah. Mm. Yes. And then we had to um, practice again, oh, hours and hours and hours, um, for the, doing the maypole, didn't we? All the maypole dances. Did them inside without the maypole, didn't we, to learn all the steps and the movements, and then outside. And, and when the day came, it was always great fun. Yeah. Yeah. Apart from the fact that if you were a May Queen, you had to sit on the stage for five years. And the only time you could do maypole dancing was in the practices. And I was always envious of the people who could do maypole dancing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I mean, we're all out there, because we did the May Day dancing. Around the May Queen. No, I wasn't the May Queen, but I did dance around the Maypole. Yeah. I, oh, I always enjoyed the dancing as well. As I said, I like music. We had a lot of music, good music in this school. trips as well. We went to Chester Zoo, we did, which seems quite a long way to go nowadays. We considered how transport was more difficult in those days. Uh, we went to a place called um, Hardcastle Crags. Um, they decided that about the lunchtime we'd have our lunch by the river. And there were stepping stones all the way across and cost being eight and nine year olds. We thought it was great. And uh, for some reason, I don't know why, but after the lunch we'd gone on like this ledge and uh, the headmaster at the time was Mr Mason and I actually fell in the river with him. <laughs> Which put me off swimming for life, I'm afraid. <laughs> it wasn't deep, it wasn't deep, but uh, I, was, I can remember being extremely um, upset at the fact that for the rest of the afternoon on this yeah. lovely warm day, I had to walk around with my little red anorak fastened <laughs> up and no jeans on because they were so... 